Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we're back with another slime video, and it is the Crafty Bride Shuna's big day. Time to take her out on town, showcase her, show her off in her nice pretty wedding dress. She deserves it. She's a good girl. But, she is our first uh, Magic EX single target damage dealer, which gives her incredible value right now. Um, she is light, she's on Goddess of Destiny, Ogre's Pride, World of Fantasy, uses a lance just like Light Shion, so if you don't want to make a new one, you can just rip it off her if you've already made one, uh, which I didn't do. Single target for 490%, which goes up to 510 if you get her to 120, which I saw a JP Whale already do. Um, EX is 1.5 times that damage. First skill is a triple orb steal, which is very good for a DPS unit, it just means that, you know, you can always do maximum damage in you know certain scenarios and then an increase to her own souls her own orbs which is also good because she's probably going to have this up which is a personal light attack buff by 25 percent and a 50 percent crit damage buff so you combine that with her stealing her own orbs she's going to do a lot of damage she's going to do a lot of damage her valor trait is pretty meh not great her actual trait, if you get dupes in her, she gets extra alt gauge for the first three turns of battle if she's up front. And then there's the extra 20% if you get her to 120. And she gets extra crit damage when Soka is in the team. Which, um, yeah. We'll be waiting for that with open arms, right? So, uh, let's go ahead and test her out. We do have quite a few teams to use her on because she is a Magic EX character and there has been a drought of magic units for the last three months so let's uh yeah let's get started all right so the first team we're going to use is the ex2 um beat down battle not ex3 not inferno just trying to get a feel for what she can do we've got we've got the new murin as well <laughs> and then we're bringing both of the heroes for the rewind on the first hero which honestly i don't think this team is gonna need so you could definitely replace the Hero 1.0 with maybe Isis for the green buff, or another small time buffer that can help Shuna out. Uh, we're bringing the Hero 2.0 because this is a green focus meta. She has that orb swap into a green orb, which can help to get EX alts. And then she's also got that big time orb damage and um, resistance down that will help us do a lot of damage. Milam has the alt buff and the special conversion alongside Trya has the special conversion and the green orb steal and then Shuna's obviously a DPS unit. So in theory this team should work very good. This is the first time using this team, uh, specifically this one, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, set starting hand means that we can use either Milam or Trya's orb change. We'll use Milam's first because it's better to have Trya in the back so we can you know swap her in and use the steal. Um, I think this will work really well. I, I really don't think the hero is necessary because, you know, apart from the rewind, we're already getting the crits from uh, Mirren, so kind of unnecessary. Also, the hero will not get the crit because she's not a magic unit, but let's go ahead and use the orb change, and then we'll bring in Shuna for the hero, and we'll go ahead and send this and get, kind of get a feel for what her fifth orb does. So 38, 68, 11.5 with that massive damage buff from Mirren. All right, 24,000. And we have three blue orbs right there. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, So let's go ahead and use Trya. Actually, there's really not much we can do about that, huh? Uh, we only have two orbs with Shuna. Hmm... Yeah. See, I, 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 think, I think I would rather bring Isis than the hero 1.0. For, for one, this specific reason. Because, you know, we have two converters and everything. Like, we, we don't have enough points to use both, all three of them, though. Because this is 50. We didn't get a duplicate of any of the orbs down here. Um, let's go ahead and just send this and try and make it work a little better next turn. Uh, 2300. Okay, that much... Oh, bind. Okay. Well, I guess we're using Milam again. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll use the Orb Steel, right? Yep, and then we'll turn five of those into Shuna. And then we'll get the guaranteed crits and the follow-up damage with Mirren. So this should be interesting. 
And we're also going to get a crap ton of skill points back because Mirren's buffing our gain by 500%. So what does Shuna do here? So 16,000 damage, just straight up, and then 34.8, and then the follow-ups do 8,200, 17,000 on the 200% orb. And now we have an alt for her, which I don't really want because I do want an EX alt, but I don't think he's going to live. So let's go ahead and swap the orb out. Oh, we didn't use any of the buff, actually, last turn. We just stole it. Okay. Let's do that. We can get um, Try It in here for Milim, and then steal those. That works out. We'll put the resistance down, and then we'll use the damage buff. And this will be, you know, technically full power Shuna. Oh, we have blues in here, too, that I didn't account for because I'm dumb. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, we stole the crits. We stole the attack buff. So let's just go ahead and send these four. I think we're going to kill them, actually, right here. So Trya, 9,000. Shuna does 52.6 on a normal orb with the resistance down, the crit, the crit damage, and the light buff. 52,000 damage. Uh, let's try and let's let's try and come back and get like a full turn of that, of her being fully buffed, six orbs, everything going, and that should be entertaining. Hold on. All right, I had to go into a predator battle because where I was is in in beatdown battle progress. He he would not live twelve orbs of this, much less six of them. So we're in predator battle. We're not going to get the extra six percent damage buff. We don't have type advantage, so our damage does look a little nerfed, but, I mean, this will be a solid picture of, you know, the most basic of damage that she could do in this team setup, and then it would only just increase from there. So she's doing, you know, 20k a hit times 6, and then another 50% for each of those light orbs down there, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, that's, you know... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, it's, what, 120,000 damage? No, 140,000 damage. And then another, uh, what, 40, 50, 60, 70, another 70k right there? So almost 200,000 damage just in one combo, uh, which doesn't really require that much setup. Like, we could... We could do it again. Well, actually, maybe we won't be able to do it again here. Hold on. Um, let's do... Uh, do, 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 do... We could steal again. We could change out. Yeah, so we, we could swap the orb, resistance down, steal the orbs. She still has the light buff going. Uh, yeah, and we still have the follow-up. We still have the crit rate, so we don't have to do anything else. We'll just send it again. And we'll do another 12 orbs of damage. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> okay, so I mean, like, the team is fun. And it, it does run well together. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. That, that's, what, is that 400,000 damage on normal orbs in one turn against type neutral? Is, 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 am I doing math right? I think that's what we're doing. That's that's pretty good, we you know with Mirren. But okay, so we've seen what she can do with Mirren. Let's let's put her onto some different team scenarios now, away from her protector as you know a primary DPS unit now. All right, so this is going to be a big time test for this new Shuna. Someone has a tiny penis outside. Um, we're going to see if. She can actually, you know, deal enough damage to kill EX5 Veldora, who has 1.78 million HP, uh, as you know, as a, as a true DPS unit. This is the team that I've built. We've got Protector Shuna, we've got the new Shuna, Fire Milum for the you know single orb change, and the crit ceiling because um, we're not we're we're looking to crit with Shuna's 50% crit damage. Raphael is here, not as a DPS, just for the stun and the um, and the pierce rate. And then Shuna and Valentine are the orb changers and also support units. Valentine will overwrite Shuna's own uh, light buff, because hers is higher than Shuna's, but eh, I felt like that was a good trade-off instead of bringing, you know, the light Milum with the 45% attack buff but the orb stealing, because we can technically steal orbs with the Shuna, right? So 
in theory, this should work, but, you know, let's find out. Alright, so turn one, we're just going to use Fire Milam's little orb change here, and then we're going to swap both Raphael and Milam out for these magic units up here and the orb changers, so then hopefully next turn we can get a decent hand of blues to start getting our stacks, start getting our points. You know, I, I think this should work, because Raphael gives himself the stun strike, which is 40%. That is... oh. Okay, so, I mean, we could orb change with both of our orb changers right here, and we could, but it's only, like, two orbs, right? But we have three Shunas, so you know what? I'm just going to steal all of them before the rest of these orbs get nerfed, so we can get, you know, the most out of them. So, yeah, let's just do this. We'll get our alt, probably, and we can send it. We get another stack and a half. We get 84 points. I mean, pretty good right there. 5,000 damage. Um, he does have his extra defense up now. Alright, oh, well that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, let's get another stack on. I think... <laughs> I think we just steal again, actually. <laughs> and we just don't worry about it. Um, yeah, let's just do this. And then maybe next turn we actually get some fucking blue orbs. 25,000, not great, but she has no buffs going on, so I don't expect much from uh, just a normal alt right now. 11.2k, can we get... Okay, you're, you're very funny. Alright, let's get one more stack. We'll get her out of here. Uh, she doesn't have any orbs up here anyways, so... Yeah, well, that's an unfortunate hand. Um, we'll just go ahead and send these oranges, get them out of here. Next turn, hopefully we get some more blues that we can use. Just do a full hand. Perfect. That is great right there. In fact, I think we'll do this instead. So the one green and then two oranges. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, who is low on health? People are going to be low on health. Let's go ahead and bring Raphael in for Shuna. I don't want her to die. So one, two, three, four, five, six... Good. Max points. Another stack of Shuna to be put on the other Shuna. Hopefully we can get her EX alt by the end and maybe do enough damage. How many points do we actually need to run this, now that I think about it? Um, we're going to need, so, 165, so one, 110, 190, 245... 295. No, two. No, hold on. 245. 300. Right? So, 55, 50, so that's 220, 300. 325 points is what we need. But we can at least kind of remove some of that because we can put the um, her attack buff on early. We just need to get her an ult, which we can do here, actually. So, let's do this orb change. And then we'll do the uh, orange orb change. Let's get Millum out of here. All right, orange orb change. Oh yeah, and then we'll get you in. Actually, we can get you in for Raphael. That way we don't disrupt, and we can still get the stack on. So that that works out really well. Uh, let's do this. Ooh, we could steal actually, right? Does that work? Hold on. If we steal these orbs, will we just immediately get her ult? I don't think that's how that works. Um, but I do want to get a few of her orbs, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on as well, because we're going to make up probably most of these points um, this turn. Okay, no, it does not give us her ult that's technically waiting. All right, well, that is good information to know. Uh, her normal attacks will do extra damage here, because she does have the small light attack buff. All right, cheeky counter, cool. Uh, seven point, so seventy three hundred, and then the two hundred percent orb fifteen five. Okay, fairly fairly good. We now have her alt, her ex alt, which is important. Let's get another stack on. So now we just need three hundred points, which our cap is three hundred. So that's pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and get her. Who do we need up front? Um, uh, we're, we're gonna need her up front. 
for everything, huh? The only person that we can swap out is this water Shuna. Okay. Um, hmm. Will we make make it all back? I don't actually know. Let's do that. Will this get us 300? Uh, no, not quite. Okay. Um, we might have to push an extra turn. Might have to push an extra turn. Oh, we're four points shy. Of course we are. Okay. Oh, Shuna, you get you gotta go, honey. You you gotta go. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that. He's gonna heal, I think. Now. So he's gonna make back all that damage. So we'll see how much damage you know a, a full power Shuna can do. Her uh, her buffs have worn off. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um. Ooh, that didn't work out very well. Now did it? Okay. Can can we? Yeah, it's gonna cost 45 plus the 300. How many points are we gonna make back here? Only 20. All right. Well, we kind of messed that up, didn't we? Uh, we'll come back with a nuke when we have the you know the good setup. The process is still gonna stay, but we'll just come back for a good nuke. Okay, we're back. Uh, it took a few more runs to get here, but we're on turn eight. We have 340 points. We have the EX alt in the back waiting. We actually have an alt with Raphael as well, which, you know, we didn't... We are not going for, but we got it anyways. So, and we have enough points. We already have the light and crit damage buff active, so we don't need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and use the alt buff here, and then we can swap her out for... Um, da -da -da -da, Shuna. Shuna for Shuna, I guess. So that'll happen. Don't have an alt with Lumi, which is unfortunate, but fine, whatever. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, how do we want to run this, actually? So we're going to have to put the crit on Milam, right? So seal this now, and then she's going to have to go away so we can actually use Raphael's alt. Not that we're, you know, again, we're, we want to see how much damage the EX alt does on Shuna more than anything. But this will allow us to get the full buffs. Let's go ahead and get the two extra stacks onto both of them. Uh, and then we'll, I don't know how many stacks we've actually gotten. I think that's like mm, 10 stacks, maybe? What are, what are we at? So we are up to, we're up to eight stacks. So 80% pierce power, 80% stun strike. We have, you know, sealed his resistance to stun. So now we can do that, or no, we're about to. So we'll seal that. We'll stun, we'll pierce, and do that, and then that should be everything, because we already have the light buff active. Yeah. So, this is a very important turn. So, Shuna's got the 735% alt damage right there. We've got 70% from Shuna, we've got the 8% from the charm that I have on, and then we're going to have the 80% pierce power stun strike, we have the crit damage, crit rate, light attack, and guaranteed pierce. You know, let's let's turn on the uh, animation and we'll see how much damage we do here. Uh, and we have a full hand, actually. I didn't even think about that. All right. Um, let's do her normal orbs first, her alt, and then we'll follow up with Raphael's alt if we actually need it or not. I don't actually know if we do. This should be interesting. So she's doing 68,000 damage a normal orb. The 200% orb's 141. Okay. I mean, that's positive. That, that's a good sign right there. Uh, her alt. How much is her alt going to do? It's an EX alt. All of, the, all of the buffs active. The only thing we're missing is like an attack buff. Just a straight attack buff. She does... <laughs> she has 1.3 million damage. 1.3 million. Oh man, I mean, she she's definitely an EX unit. That's 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 looking real good, real good on you know a, away from from you know that extra 60% damage buff because we're not on a stacking protector that would also give that massive increase because Mirren doesn't raise cap at all, so it'd be impossible to do this. Uh yeah, I, I, I like that number. I like that number a lot. 
Um, I don't really know how else you could change his team up, though. Like, I I guess you could take Lumi away, because you're already getting a light buff and bring in, you know, Milim. I, I, I don't know about that strategy as far as consistency and stacks is concerned, but, I mean, you definitely could. All right. Um... Let's put her on a burst team now, on a, on a different burst team instead of a stacking light team. Let's see how well she does there. All right, so this, I think this is the last team we're going to use for this initial showcase. We're definitely going to take her into a bunch of other places, including Valor Cup, since she does have relatively low cost skills. Uh, but light 2.0, burst damage team, generally focused on, you know, physical units, but we're going to replace uh, Bride Shion for Bride Shuna, and I think this should work you know, just as well, except, you know, team's a little bit interesting. We've got Dark Valentine for extra ult gauge, extra ult buff, if we can get away with it. Since we don't raise cap, we do have to use only a couple skills. Ideally, uh, we'll get a normal ult for Shuna, use her buff, hold it in the back, and then when we're ready to go, we'll use the hero's big time buff to give her the crit, and Shizu will give her Pierce, you know, at least a little bit. We'll get Pierce Resistance. I've got a Pierce Power Charm on Shizu, uh, but this stage does not have set starting hands, so we'll be right back. I mean, I, I, I guess we can try and see if this works. Uh, we're going to lose a little bit of our protection gauge on turn two, but I think with... I don't, actually don't know if we can make that up, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We'll send this on Shinsha. And, okay, we get some blues. Uh, there's that. Cool, thank you. Counterattack. And, oh, we're, we're just shy. Okay, so we're going to steal, because actually that works out fairly well. Let's do, let's do the steal. We'll get six of that. We'll get, uh, actually, we might just get an EX ult for her. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we do. All right, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, so now we can go ahead and use her buff and then send her away until we've built back up to 100 points or, you know, somewhat close. Yeah, okay, cool. I, I will take that. Let's go ahead and use her buff. Let's use one stack of the alt damage. Get a little bit of healing going on, not that it matters. Uh, we'll bring Rimuru in. He can change one of those oranges. And then we'll get, um, yeah, we got double Shizu, so that works out fairly well. And we'll send away. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 70, so 81 points. We need 55 plus 15, really, because we're just going to use the Pierce Resistance down. We don't need to steal. We've already used the attack buff, uh, and we, we just need 55 for the crit damage. Of the crit rate and everything. So yeah, I think this works out fairly well. Um, I guess I could have used the green buff from Isis as well. Yeah, hindsight's 2020. Doesn't really matter though. So let's do this. Uh, we'll bring you in for Valentine. So we will crit buff and pierce resist down. And <laughs> this this should be highly entertaining right here. This is, what, turn four? Oh, I need to turn that back off. All right, well, whatever. Um, I think we can just straight up annihilate Shinsha, and then the follow-ups can kill Sh uh, Shion. So we're at, you know, 30% alt damage, 735 multiplier. We've got a 90% pierce rate, pierce power, guaranteed crits, 50% crit damage, 25% light attack buff. I'm pretty sure Shinsha is dead just from this all. So then we'll follow up on Shion. And if it doesn't kill, I'll be actually mildly surprised. Uh, 168,000, goodbye. <laughs> and yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so she can work on a burst team, obviously, because she's made for a burst team. She can work on a stacking team for light 3.0. We proved that very much so. Um, and she can work on some other bursty teams. Um, you know, this has all pretty been light-focused metas right here. I will make another video with taking her into some other difficult stages to see if she can compare, since light doesn't really have type disadvantage, so we're not going to be losing too much on her DPS. But yeah, I think this is a good first video. She's very, very powerful. 
very good unit, very much worthy of being an EX magic single target. Um, relatively cheap buffs. So yeah, I mean, I, I keep saying don't summon, and then you're going to watch this video and you're going to be like, dude, she's fucking awesome, why are you telling me that? And, well, they're going to release more EX magic units in the future, and I don't think the value on this double banner with one unit being really good and one unit with the protector being good now and then maybe not so good next meta in the next you know six months down the line even further i really think you need to weigh that option but if you really really like shuna and you needed like a good showcase to be like what can she do in her perfect settings of you know when you have the units here you go she can do a lot she can help you do a lot so you know summon away if you want to just be cautious that the protector may not be that useful after this month but shuna again is a very strong unit so let me know your initial thoughts in the comments below but that's it for me take it easy and i'll see you all later